to another day in Taiwan. We're in Taiwan, but barely. We're on a tiny island called Shaoyotu, which is <laughs> which, which is off the very southern tip of Taiwan. And we've done something today, something we've never done before. Now this is something we can legally do, but we've been really nervous to try it. <laughs> okay, you might think it has to do with the water behind us, but no, it doesn't. It has to do with all these people behind us. Pivot, pivot. All right. Okay, there's no people behind us leaving right now. <laughs> but there are a bunch of electric mopeds. So yeah, we did that. That's happening today for the first time. We have rented something besides a bicycle or an electric bicycle and we got an electric scooter. So we're gonna spend the whole day exploring the island. We have the bike for 24 hours and we are really excited to do this on our own. Our first stop is one of the most recognizable on this island and that's Vase Rock. Oh, look, I'm holding it. <laughs> that's Vase Rock. It's this rock growing out of the water during high tide that sort of looks like a vase that's holding some, well, right now they look like weeds at the top. But it is really picturesque and there's tons of tour groups here. And I can see why so many people come here. There's also an amazing temple. So there's a lot to do at the first stop. swimsuits on today so we are picking up some snorkel gear and we are hoping to get some swim time later on it's kind of hot out today I could use a swim Caves, make sure you stop at this place to get your tickets. We have arrived at our second destination. We survived, I think you meant to say, barely. We survived our first part of the scooter ride around the island. We are here at Beauty Cave. We don't know anything about it other than there's more tour groups here, so I guess let's go see what Beauty Cave is all about. decent sized cave but it's actually more like open there's only a small area that is that is covered well we found more stairs so maybe that's not the end of it after all Not a bat, not a bat. This is indeed much bigger than we thought. It's quite a nice area. Bill gets to go through the next one first. Oh. I think I see what's gonna happen here. <laughs> I think it's an I don't fit situation. What do you think? I think you gotta squat. Oh, okay. Mind your backpack. <laughs> oh, sometimes it pays to be short and small. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> we did all that work and this doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> We're stuck. We have to go back the way we just came, which is through this tiny little hole. God, oh, nuts. Something that is really neat about this cave area 
is that all of the cave walls seem to be made of coral, which is something that we don't think we've seen before. And it really is pretty. <laughs> just, we just expect it to be more like of a cave than the open air caves, but it still is really pretty. And since your ticket gets you into three different sections, sort of along the west coast of the island, then it's definitely somewhere that you should stop at. Good Lord. All right, we are at our third stop, I think this is, which is an ecological corridor of some kind. It sounds like there's some like old military lookouts down here, so really curious about this one. comfortable bench I've ever sat on. I'm thinking maybe you're supposed to sit up there. <laughs> not comfortable. Oh my butt. Well, I don't know what I was expecting, but that was not it. <laughs> also, a sign in English, thank you so much, uh, says that there is a path that runs along the water here, but it's closed right now and there's some like wet cement it looks like, so we're not going to venture out that way. Anyhow, this is a really cool diversion. Even if the path is not open, either way, I would recommend stopping by here and checking out the military encampment. That is really neat to walk through. I feel like an urban explorer, even though it's totally open and safe. All right, we have made it to our fourth stop today. <laughs> Just barely ahead of a giant tour bus that pulled up. So we're trying to stay ahead of them. This is the Black Devil Cave. We are gonna hurry through this one because we are still trying to get to the main event that this island is known for today and the reason why we're wearing our swimsuits. So we're, we're just gonna take a look around and uh, probably move on to our next place. All right, let's go. We did not beat all the tour groups. We are stuck behind one. And we might get overrun by a second one coming behind us. It's a tour group sandwich. <laughs> we found another path that the tour groups aren't on. If this makes it to YouTube and nothing is recorded after this, <laughs> tell all our family and friends we love them. <laughs> There's a lovely like boardwalk with a pavilion that you can sit at, but we're gonna go back and see if the narrow crevice cave is empty of the tour groups yet.
not happening. Okay. Sorry. Oh, oh my god. This is what the cave looks like. That was very narrow. Okay. Ouch. All I thought about when I was down there was, please don't let there be an earthquake right now. <laughs> I did it. Here. Phil might have made it if it hadn't been for his backpack. A kid went in front of me and like stayed behind to help me through, which was really nice. <laughs> so I wasn't alone down there. It was really dark and it was really narrow. And then it opened up into a cave, which I tried to film. Triumph. <laughs> For, yes. one of, for one of us. Yes. Onward now, All I right. feel like a beach is in our future. <laughs> Some of the tour groups. There have been so many today. It's a Sunday. <sighs> so many. familiar with this island, you may notice that we are back on the northern tip. This is almost where we started this morning, but it's on the northeastern side instead of the northwestern side. We are in search of what this island is most known for, and that is their sea turtles. <laughs> Everywhere that you go on this island, there are turtle things for sale, like turtle plush toys. I even saw one strapped to the back of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so we are on a hunt for turtles. I mean, we're gonna stay respectfully away from them, but we are so, so anxious to see them. So we're going in, so we'll catch you back in the water. It's a little colder than I expected. Oh God. <gasps> That's not warm. There are some kayakers out there. Maybe we should rent kayaks. They're a lot warmer. They look a lot warmer. I'm sure they're warmer. <laughs> but that was really cool. The turtle that we found was absolutely massive. Yeah, I actually saw a second one, but both of them were, I don't know, about this size. I don't know how many hundreds of pounds or how many hundreds of years old. They're amazing. We didn't even have to be out there long to find it. It yeah. was incredible. We just walked into the water and swam a couple minutes. There it was. Boom. Well, we, we were in there for longer than we expected, and our gear needs to be back really soon. So we have to go drop off our snorkeling gear and maybe change into pants. I am so cold. <laughs> Well, we did what we set out to do. We saw caves, saw sea turtles, and we conquered our first electric scooter rental. We have loved our time here on the island. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.